Theology happens. I'm Dr. Rick Durst from Golden Gate Baptist Theological Seminary, and that's the title of this presentation, How Theology Happens. Uh, it's not unusual for us in church or life to have conflicts, and many of us think that if we're in ministry, when we get into conflict, we've lost our ministry. The actual fact is when you meet conflict, you actually find your ministry, the ministry of reconciliation. Theology happens the same way. Theology always happens in a conflict, a context, and a community. If you think about the great steps forward in theology, say, The City of God by Augustine, that book, The City of God, which shows how the city of men and the city of God interface, happened because Rome fell in 410 and Christianity got the blame. So Augustine, sitting on the other side of the Mediterranean, writes back and said, it's not Christianity's fault that Rome fell, it's Romans' fault, because they deserted their own core values. So in that conflict of trying to apologize or defend the faith, uh, his theology of the interplay between humanity and what God is up to on the planet, the kingdoms of men and the kingdoms of God, clarify theology. Happened again with Karl Barth uh, in his uh, classic work on the doctrine of Romans and then his dogmatic theology. He is trying to handle the conflict between Protestant liberal theology, which said by means of education uh, and other human means, uh, progress could happen and we could build the kingdom of God. But then World War I happened and he said, there's a conflict here. How can we in Germany say that we can make, bring in the kingdom of God and instead we bring in World War I? So he goes back to the book of Romans and realizes the kingdom of God only happens from God in Christ. So out of that conflict, he develops his theology that sometimes we call neo-orthodoxy. He preferred to call it neo-reformation. Uh, so theology happens in conflict. Now if you have a conflict in your church that is a theological issue, it's not a disease, it's an opportunity for you to bring forward what do the scriptures say about these issues. Uh, one of the issues that's not difficult to step into these days is uh, egalitarian versus complementarian with reference to the roles of men and women in the church. It's an awesome opportunity to bring forward Colossians chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 5, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So you bring forward uh, all of those issues in the community and create a space for theological conversation to happen. And in that context, you can shape your theology. And if you look at the history of the church, each time a conflict has arisen, it provides an opportunity uh, and a context for the community to come together to share the truth and love, as it says in Ephesians 4. So let theology happen in your congregation, in your community. Thanks for listening.